So if you read the title, it is not clickbait. I traveled all the way to Vietnam just to take street photography. Sort of. So it is hella hot. I'm probably going to call it quits. I'm just shooting with my Nikon Z50 right now. So in this video, I took around my Nikon Z50 with the 50 to 250 lens. And the more I use this, the more I think, why aren't a lot of more people using this lens for street photography? One, because this is the APS-C and I'm using this on my Z50, I get essentially a 70 to 300 reach and range. So there's a building out here with this view I have. And I'm gonna show you guys what or how far I can reach with just this lens from video as well as photos. This is what your normal eye would see. So this right now I am at 50 mil and I can zoom in all the way. And that is at 300. 50. You see those um, construction building over there? Watch as I zoom in. I can actually see people working. But I bet you didn't know that if I didn't zoom all the way in. Which is why this is such a great lens for introverts that don't like talking to people. Like me. Very shy and quiet, you know? So, I have this zoomed in. And you need, it is a must, to have VR. If I turn off right now, I'll show you. VR is completely off. Look how shaky that is. I try to take a photo, and I'm gonna turn on right. Let's see, shaky, shaky, off, on. See how amazing that is. And also, you know, could it record a lot of B-roll of me filming and shooting at the same time? Because one, I don't want to get mugged, and two, it is really darn hard. And I. When you're sweating in places that you didn't know you could really sweat, I'm all about getting the shot. So here are a lot of the photos I took. A lot of, you know, these street style photography. I'm looking at maybe a little bit of architecture and trying to do things like the rule of thirds, looking things like composition. And I shot all of these photos on a flat picture profile and in Lightroom because time is of the essence. All I did was I just put it on auto color correction for most of these photos and just applied all these profiles onto all of these photos. The thing I like about this lens is, yes, like I said in all my other reviews, if you haven't checked that out yet, go check that out, is that one, is it is such a budget kit lens. It is the perfect one for the zoom range of street photography because I tried the 16 to 50 and it didn't really get the intimacy and close upness that I wanted in comparison to the 50 to 250. And as well as when you're using this lens, vibration reduction, image stabilization is a must. Here's with it on and here's with it off. Pretty self-explanatory. It needs to be on all time, especially if you're doing street, anything street out and about and you don't have a tripod. So it is hella hot. I'm probably gonna call it quits. Throw in some couple shots as well as, you know, I was at another street place that was much more you know less foot traffic and uh i'm gonna throw in some selfie shots and see you know how i set this up using snap bridge oh shoot but i'm sweating in places that i did not know that i could sweat in you know another thing i don't really like about this lens is that yes right i mentioned this in all my other videos but it is that extending barrel which you know as is is already long already extended all the way to 300 or technically 250 look how long that is so you're gonna get a little bit of attention you know if you're shooting this out depending on where you are in the world right with that long barrel but hopefully you'll be far enough that no one actually notices or cares great for architecture you know shooting up buildings up there great for street photography something you can shoot someone across the street and overall, I think this is a much better lens compared to the 
16 to 55 kit lens that it comes with. That one is more of like a vlogging type of lens, not really street photography, but if you're looking for street photography, this is the one that you should go for. And here are a lot of my photos that I took and were there issues of, um, let's say autofocus? A little bit when it comes to things with, you know, low light, if the talent, whoever I'm shooting, you know, there was shadow, had a hard time hunting. I had to, you know, do spot focus and pick exactly where exactly where I wanted it to track. But if it is well lit and I cranked this up all the way up to like F, you know, 16, sunny 16, as well as having a shutter of usually a hundred, especially if it's in super bright conditions, like I'm going to show you guys, as well as, you know, a one over 250 of a shutter. And ideally I would have an ND filter on this. So, you know, I can shoot more of sh getting that shallow depth of field, but you know, you work with what you got. And that was my overall street photography, little series, I guess of, you know, taking photos back in the motherland. Your boy is Vietnamese of descent. And I uh, hope you guys like some of this cool footage that I shot mostly on my Nikon Z50. And I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys wanna see more of these type of videos, let me know in the comments below. My name is Peter and I help you become a better content creator. So we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers guys. Thank <laughs> you.